I think visually people see, wow, this Bronx is not the Bronx that it was 10 years ago. Well, the reality is that I'm not doing it by myself. The reality is that there are police officers and community leaders and community activists and other elected officials. These are all the folks that collectively, we're all making the Bronx better. Every so often what we've done is we're recognizing those individuals who help transform the borough. Someone who, who has really, really exemplified and embodies what it means to be a Bronxite. Bronxite, Bronxite. Deputy Borough President Green served for close to 30 years in the State Assembly, but it was as a youth leader with the NAACP that Green remembers King at a town hall meeting. When Martin Luther King first started, when he came here to town hall, we had the opportunity to see him, and his words could continue to resound throughout my life. Well, President Ruben Diaz approached me when I was in the assembly and said he needed someone as his deputy. And then he said, well, I prefer a black woman. I said, I'll help you try and find someone. I was not ready to leave Albany at the time. But when he said, a black woman with white hair, <laughs> I knew, <laughs> I knew that I could not uh, say no. The state of affordable housing here in our borough and throughout the city continues to diminish. As those buildings that are deregulated become condos, and co-ops to those in higher income brackets. I found that there was so much work that needed to be done right here in our borough. I went to groundbreaking ceremonies. We worked on the budget. Of course, I oversaw the community boards. It was wonderful just being able to be home, to be an encouragement to so many people. It, it, it really was, because that's what I saw my role as, to support the people of the Bronx. So my story getting to the city council started with me being an intern for a former assembly member in the Bronx, Aurelia Green. I started out as her intern, and when I graduated, she gave me an opportunity. She gave me my first job. She offered me a chance. It's been a rewarding life for me and a rewarding career. It was one that I didn't plan, but it was one that I am so glad that I had the opportunity to serve in. And I'm so happy that folks here, they gave you your due credit. Over 50 years of public service, former Deputy Borough President Aurelia Green. There are very few people in the city of New York, in terms of public service, who can compare themselves to Aurelia Green. It was an honor and a privilege to work with Aurelia. People ask me today, um, how do I like retirement? And I have to ask them, what's that? Because I haven't retired in my heart and in my mind. I am just as busy as I have been. I started out this way. I started out as a volunteer, and I've gone back to being a volunteer here in my beloved Bronx, and I love every moment of it. <laughs>